Hey guys, Patrick here, and today I want to talk a little bit about the problem with energy drinks and finding a natural stimulant to help you get through your day when you're feeling fatigued. Alright, so let's start off with the basics. I know uh, energy drinks are very popular items out there, uh, especially among uh, the youth and among young people, and uh, among people who, you know, probably ages 40 and under. So people who are trying to find a little boost of energy throughout their day to get through school or work or maybe they didn't get enough sleep the night before so they're trying to get a little a little kick and a little boost of energy to get through whatever activity it is they're doing. Well, some of the uh, some of the most popular brands are Red Bull, Monster, Full Throttle, and Rockstar. And uh, all of these drinks um, are marketed as uh, you know, helping people have more energy. But it, that's just marketing and it's not really giving anyone any more energy than what they actually have. Uh, the truth is, even with uh, something like 5 hour energy, which is probably a lot healthier than the ones I just mentioned, uh, even it's filled with preservatives, it's not fresh, and it's you know basically a liquid vitamin with, with caffeine in it. So it's still not the best thing for you, and actually it's not good for you at all. It's just marketing. So, uh, so let's just you know, be aware of that in the future. Alright, so um, our body has certain needs and uh, those needs can only be met by uh, you know, traditional things like sleep and working out, relaxing, getting enough water, um, getting all your vital nutrients and minerals. And when you do these things and you, leave an, and you lead an active lifestyle, then you're going to be more likely to feel better throughout your day and you're going to have a sustained energy which is way more important than what these uh, popular energy drinks offer which is it's kinda like a, a roller coaster ride and it's mostly it's mostly caffeine and sugar induced and uh, you know it leaves you with a crash once it's over but you know aside from all the uh, the artificial colors and flavors preservatives and all the other bad stuff in these energy drinks um, they're actually not regulated by the Food and Drug Administration. They are not considered a food. They are considered a food supplement. So because of this, they get away with putting just crazy amounts of caffeine in their drinks. Uh, for instance, uh, the FDA only allows uh, something like 70 milligrams of caffeine uh, in a 12 ounce can of soda. And, uh, but energy drinks don't have those same guidelines. So some energy drinks have as many as 500 milligrams of caffeine in one serving. Now, can, I mean, can you imagine that for just a second? Uh, you know, one can of soda, like a Coca-Cola, has 71 milligrams of caffeine. You would have to drink eight cans of Coca-Cola to get the caffeine that's provided by only one energy drink. So, I mean, I think we know that that kind of a jolt to the body is just not good, uh, and you know. How bad has that actually been on people? Well, it's been bad enough where uh, since 2004, since they started tracking cases going to emergency rooms uh, from people drinking energy drinks and then, and then reporting problems, there's been people who have come uh, down very sick. There's also been people who have died, uh, maybe not directly from the energy drink itself, but they might have had some pre-existing heart condition that was worsened or aggravated by drinking an energy drink and they passed away. It's unfortunate. These are young people, you know, with the rest of their lives ahead of them. So, you know, what we should talk about now is, uh, is the symptoms of, of energy drinks and, uh, you know, the bad things they do to you. Well, you know, one of them is, of course, death, but another one is, is headache, nausea, vomiting, uh, problems going to the bathroom. Uh, you could have, you know, being jittery, uh, just nervous. Uh, having trouble sleeping at night because of uh, you know wearing your nerves thin with all the caffeine and the sugar, so you know we should definitely try to stay away from energy drinks um, as much as we can. There's really there's really no replacement for what your body needs, and that is you know it's exercise to stay active and to keep the body you know just going and uh, keep energy going through your body and uh, regulating all your body's organs and and body systems and keeping everything fresh. Um, Making sure that you get enough water, that's a, that's definitely a number one primary concern uh, of general, just overall good health. Make sure you get plenty of water, and we should probably get eight glasses, uh, eight ounces per glass of water per day, just to uh, stay hydrated. 
Um, you know, breathing exercises are really good for us for releasing stress and just you know just 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 almost like it transforms you when you when you do breathing exercises or some meditation and you just kind of focus on on just you know detoxing your body with your mind and with your entire bodies you know it uh it, it really does work wonders and it really does purge your body and just makes you more relaxed and stress free the rest of the time so you know there's other things you can do um for a natural stimulant and that is uh you know listening to music music that you like uh you know techno music pop music rap music rock music those are all they get you going you know and they they affect your brain and they affect they excuse me they affect your um you know the electricity in your brain and your neurons and uh you know and that that's a good stimulant listening to some music that you really love uh to wake you up and get you going um there's plenty of other things that you can do uh, but one of the things, what I want to talk about is the tendency to rely on an energy drink um, to get through a period of, uh, of difficulty or fatigue. And, um, and the thing about that is that a lot of it comes down to how do you handle your, your feelings and your own emotions. And if you feel uh, maybe down or you feel fatigued, you feel tired, exhausted, or maybe you just, I don't know, you feel gross for whatever reason, um, you feel lazy, tired, anything like that, more than likely it's it's because you're not getting enough of the, you know, the natural stimulants, exercise, sleep, water, healthy, fresh foods, um, you know, a, a period of de-stressing uh, time for you, some breathing exercises, things like that, you know, um, you know, just, just leading a generally healthy lifestyle. So you may be feeling bad uh, due to you know not getting those things, and instead of turning to an energy drink, which is kind of like a, it's like it's almost like smoking a cigarette, because you feel the need to do something, or you feel like there's a void that you're trying to fill with a cigarette uh, or with anything else really, um, you know, you want to identify how you're feeling as closely as you can, so that way you can you can find out um, how you should go about correcting. Uh, how you're feeling and, and overcoming the period of, of tiredness and fatigue. You know, I know for myself personally, getting enough sleep at night, it just, it just makes a huge difference. And, um, and if I can get seven or eight hours of sleep at night uninterrupted, the next day I feel so much better if I'm, you know, trying to go on empty and I'm just trying to push through the day off two or three hours of sleep and my focus and everything is just so much better. And even if I were to, you know, smoke a cigarette or have an energy drink, or a lot of people do both, you know, it doesn't really, it would never really help me, you know, feel better. It might make me feel stimulated, but then that feeling would go away and, you know, which would be followed by a crash. So, all right, to wrap up, the only natural stimulants there are really are the, uh, the, the basic things in nature that you absolutely need to begin with. So let's focus on, uh, on getting those things and staying away from products that are cleverly marketed to people uh, which are actually harmful to our health. Alright guys and gals, well, um, that wraps this one up and uh, I will talk to you again later. Thanks for tuning in.